Hello and welcome. Today we have this daily news about a new app called Gaz in the United States. A new social media app for high schoolers has dethroned TikTok and Be Real in the app store ranking and is surprisingly not toxic. High schoolers, so students who are going to high school, of course, teenagers, dethroned. Thanks to Game of Thrones, we all know what throne means. It's the chair that the king uh, rests on. Uh, and it's surprisingly not toxic. It's not uh, poisonous. It's not something that will ruin te the teenagers' lives. But this is something that we will talk about in a minute. So, these are some screenshots from the app. See who likes you. From a girl in 10th grade, who do you secretly admire? So you admire this person, you like them, but you have never told them about that. We call them usually secret admirer. From a boy in the 11th grade, should DJ every party? So you have four choices. Like one of those four, he's very talented in uh, playing music in a party. Their smile makes my heart melt. Uh, it's like you see him or her smile and you go, ah, oh, you go crazy. Get flames when picked. Pick here means uh, gets chosen. So, a new app for high schoolers is ranked number one in the app store right now, beating out Be Real and TikTok. The app Gaz, it's called Gaz, lets users send anonymous compliments. Anonymous means you don't know who sent it. So you receive a message giving you a compliment. A compliment, it is when you say something good about a person, like you are very smart or you are very hardworking, you are beautiful. This is a compliment. It's an anonymous compliment. So you don't know who sent you this message. To their friends and classmates through, through polls, like what we saw here, the creators are trying to dispel a human trafficking hoax they say is causing users to delete their accounts. Human trafficking, it is when a person kidnaps or abducts another person and sell them or take them to another country. A hoax, it's like a scam, something that is not real. So, an anonymous app for high schoolers is currently ranked number one in the app store, and it is surprisingly not toxic. The social network exploding in popularity. It's exploding in popularity, so it became popular really uh, quick and a lot in a very short time. We can also say booming, boom, like a bomb. Among teens is named Gaz, after the Gen Z lingo, Gen Z lingo, so this is a word that teenagers know, but old timers, old people don't know. We will have a listen about this later. Gazing someone up. For the older readers out there, like me, that means giving someone a compliment. Like, for example, your car, you gas your car up so your car can uh, move more drive more. So this is the same, like you see that somebody is tired or he is uh, really feeling down. So you give them a compliment, he feels better and he keeps working hard. The app was created by Nikita Peer, the founder of nearly identical app, identical, the same, acquired in 2017, only to shut down a month later. So Facebook bought the app from him and then shut the app. Uh, Isaiah Turner and former Facebook engineer Dave Schatz. Right now, it's only available in 12 states, but is scheduled to go nationwide soon, according to Wall Street Journal. Of course, nationwide, we are talking about the United States. But if it stays popular, I am sure that we will see it in our countries soon. So, this is also some screenshots of the Ab, welcome to Gaz, answer polls about your friends, get flames when picked when somebody chooses you, and so on. So it's like farming likes, but this time you are farming flames.
Anonymous social media apps for teenagers have a history of burning up in flames. It means they were not uh, successful. Yik Yak, a similarly anonymous location-based app, shut down in 2017 following a series of cyberbullying. Cyberbullying, it is when you bully somebody online. Uh, then there is Ask.fm, an anonymous question and answer app that was linked to several teenage suicides. So it actually uh, put lots of pressures on teenagers. They have actually committed suicide, killed themselves. But unlike Yik Yak or Ask, gas users can only vote in pre-written compliments. So you can't choose the compliment. You can, uh, sorry, you can't write your own compliment. You just choose from previous written compliments. And there is no direct messaging. So even when you receive a compliment, it's anonymous. You don't know who sent it to you. You just know that in this area or in your school or in your neighborhood, there are six people or 10 people who like you. Now, this is also one of the reasons why this app is controversial. Some people say that imagine that some teenagers in school, uh, they never get any compliments. So they will say, oh, nobody likes me, uh, I'm not popular, and this is also very bad for their psyche and for their mental health. The company says the app is intentionally designed this way in order to create a place that makes us feel better about ourselves, intentionally, on purpose, and shows users that there are people who love and admire you. Currently, the app is fighting a different kind of controversy, a rumor spreading. Rumor, it is when there is something that we are not sure about, but people are talking about it all the time. It's a rumor. We can also say her say. Uh, the hoax uh, involved in human trafficking, the hoax caused 3% of users to delete their accounts in one day. According to Pierre, right now, is Gaz a sex trafficking app? So people are being abducted and sold for sex. Is a top Google search query related to the app? Related, connected. This human trafficking hoax about the Gaz app has taken on a life of its own. It means it's out of control. You can't shut it down anymore. It's out there and it's spreading like wildfire. The app co-founder tweeted last week, just got a message from a user asking why a van showed up outside of their house after installing. Like there are people ready to kidnap him and sell him. According to Pierre, Gaz has 1 million daily active users and is acquiring 30,000 users per hour. This is crazy. After a Twitter user asked the co-founder how he knows Gaz won't be a one-hit wonder like TPH, one-hit wonder like it's uh, successful but for a very short time, Pierre responded, to be honest, I don't really care, adding that the best part is receiving messages from teens who say the app has helped their mental health and self-esteem. So what do you think? Will we be getting this app soon in our countries? And do you think it's idea or good or bad? Please write a comment and let's see. Thank you for your time. See you tomorrow.